to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 complete CRUD tutorial series. This is a master class series that means we are going to learn everything from basic to advanced use cases and I'm excited to bring this series to you. Angular 14 just got released a couple of days back and I'm excited to start this series. I'm sure you will find this series useful and helpful. All right, so what are we going to cover in this particular series? It's an eight part series uh, to today's the first part of it where we'll talk about Angular, we'll talk about the REST concepts, we'll talk about CRUD basics, we'll also talk about the project that we are going to implement and some of the use cases. Going forward, we will do UI app theme setup, uh, we'll implement the backend setup, then we'll start with the functionality which is listing data, adding values, updating, deleting, autocomplete, filter functionality and much much more. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider giving YouTube super thanks that you see the option in the below. Alright, so before I get started with the project, uh, I'll be sharing all the code in the description below. Uh, all complete code will be shared with you for free of cost. I will be hosting it in a GitHub repo or in Gumroad, but I will share that link in the description below. The theme that we are going to use, uh, you can download it from RapPixel. So RapPixel is a pretty cool agency and I know the founders very well. Uh, they are really cool guys. They have a lot of exciting templates that you might want to check out. Uh, they offer a lot of free templates that you can download, use it in your projects. They also offer pro uh, themes which are paid versions basically with a lot of advanced features and functionality. You can check them out at RapPixel.com. I have also published a JavaScript book which is um, available at Gumroad so please do check it out at my arctutorials.com slash Gumroad. And finally if you have any doubts or need support please do write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Alright so let's start with the, some basic stuff first. Uh, this is basics because it will help us in revising and also getting all of us in the same page. So what is Angular? Angular is a development platform built on TypeScript. As a platform, Angular includes everything that we need to build a complete, scalable, robust applications. It's a component-driven framework. That means everything we do is based on components. Components are the like the building blocks of any application in Angular. It has a lot of integrated libraries, which like uh, helps us in routing, forms, client-server communication services, lazy loading, uh, even testing for that matter is supported by Jasmine and Karma. Now we can do everything right from developing, building, testing, everything is done through console. That is a CLI, Angular CLI. What are we at? We are at currently at Angular version 14, which is the latest version. The previous versions are listed, but again, there are, if you're working with any of the previous versions, that would still be valid and you can still work it out and not much of a change uh, from two. If you talk about there are changes, but if you are on a recent versions of 13, 12, 11, 10, not much of a changes except for some of the new concepts that are introduced. Uh, so we will learn them as we start coding. Uh, but this is just an introduction and overview of it. So what are we going to learn and implement? We are going to learn about components, standalone components. That's a highlight of Angular 14. Uh, we are going to write services, directives, pipes, templates, forms, routing, lazy loading, and much, much more. So if you complete this series end to end, you will be able to learn all these concepts, hands on practical knowledge. Some of the technical specifications that we'll be doing as part of this project are we'll be using Angular Material Framework. I know I've done CRUD earlier in this particular series where we have used Bootstrap and a lot of you have been asking me about Angular Material so I'll be doing that in this particular series. We'll be using the RapPixel uh, template so you can check them out at RapPixel.com. Excellent templates, a lot of Bootstrap, Material UI, View, Angular, React. Uh, we'll be using one of their Angular templates and then we'll learn how to build it um, from scratch. All right, so you need to register and then download. So you, if, you want, if you're not interested or not yet ready to purchase a pro plan, uh, go feel free to go ahead with any of these free templates. That's what I will be doing in this particular series. So I'll be using a Material Pro theme and I'll, I'll walk you through it when we start set up and uh, get into it. But this is just a warm up towards the project because you need to be able to understand, you need to be able to explain if you are attending interviews or for your own learning end-to-end -end experience. 
we'll be using JSON server uh, to implement the mock APIs and the backend uh, API setup. Again, I'll tell you if you have any doubts or need any support in your projects, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. All right, let's talk about the CRUD overview, right? So CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete, right? So creating means creating a new resource. For example, let's say create new user. So that will become a create. Read, right, which is list all the contacts, list all the issues, list all the emails, list all the attachments, files, tickets, that is reading. Reading also involves filtering, searching, those functionality based on certain criteria or conditions. Update is updating an existing resources, which means let's say you want to update a particular email, you want to update a particular ticket, you want to update a particular task. Those are all updates. Delete is uh, straightforward, which is deleting existing data. Um, and we'll be using the delete option. I wrote it wrong here. Sorry for that. So it should be HTTP delete method. So these are the REST principles basically, right? So what is REST? A REST API, also known as RESTful APIs, are application programming interfaces that conforms to the constraints of REST architecture, right? It has a lot of status codes that we'll work with, right? So these are the high level things that you should know because a lot of people run into issues and they don't know what to do with it. So whenever you see some message or status code which is starting with 200 series, right? That means it's successful, 200 or 201, which means resource created. Four, 400 is mostly when you get client errors like course errors, etc. 500 is when you get a backend API errors like say internal server errors, etc. So that is status 500. As a front end developer, you should be mostly worried if you see anything with 400 series. That means something is wrong at your end, like a bad data or uh, 404 not found, etc. When you see 500 errors, that means you talk to your backend team or if you are a full stack developer, look at the messaging or the error logs at the backend because 500 means server side errors. All right, so let's take a look deeper look because we'll be implementing this as part of our CRUD and also we should know some of these uh, things that we'll be working with. So we have the HTTP verb, which is post and you the verb that will write the method is create. Uh, one of the common mistakes that people do is when they are writing, let's say, implementing users module. So a lot of people write create user. That's bad, right? We should never write like that. So when you say user slash create, it obviously means that you're creating a new user. So your function names also needs to align with RESTful APIs. You cannot write create user. That's bad uh, function name. What you should do is always write user slash create user slash read, user slash update, so on and so forth. The idea is we'll follow REST full APIs throughout this uh, series so that you learn about the backend uh, API and HTTP method implementation as well. And since Angular, uh, we'll be dealing a lot of with observables, etc. So that will also be a good brush up for you. All right, now let's talk about the project that we are going to build as part of this particular eight part uh, CRUD series. So we'll be implementing the following features. We'll build a complete contact management system. Now, um, if you want to see a good contact management system, I am inspired by uh, google.com. So you can see this, this is from Google. Uh, this is what I'll try to replicate, not the complete thing, but at least to the closest, like we can create a contact, we can uh, create labels, we can create, um, assign those labels to the contacts. Uh, etc. So we'll build a smaller piece of this, not exactly, but you see what where I'm getting. So we'll create contacts, update contacts, delete contact, edit contact, uh, autocomplete and filter contacts. So these are some of the functionality we'll build as part of our CRUD end to end. So at, at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to master how to build a complete application just like Google contacts, right? From scratch and you'll see how Angular applications are done from scratch. Uh, not really scratch, we'll be using a template from uh, wrap pixel, but again, all the modules, everything will be done from scratch. So basically you'll learn everything about it. Also, if you like my work and tutorials in this particular CRUD series, please do consider uh, giving YouTube super thanks. That's a new feature from YouTube. So stay tuned. Um, that's really exciting series. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I hope you will learn with me. I hope you will code with me. 
and I'm sure you please reach out to me if you have any doubts or queries in any implementation that you are doing. I'm, I'll, be tr I'll try and provide as much live support as I can to this particular series. Again, thank you so much for joining and I will see you in the next uh, for episode where we'll start the UI setup of the app template. Thank you again for joining and see you in the next episode where we start with the actual UI app template setup. Thank you.